Welcome back. So in the last episode we created the bones, but we haven't done any weight painting yet. So let's address the most complicated weight painting first. And that would be this. You see how when we bend forward we lose mass? So the problem is that our belly has folded in on itself. And that's caused by this, there's a large distance from the base of the bone to the front of the mesh. And that means that tilting it down will cause a lot of um, folding in on itself. And we want to fix that up. And the way we fix that up is we come over here to the model and we go into weight paint mode. And what we'll do is we'll just tilt this bone forward and then we will paint until we like what we see. So if you've never done weight painting before, you just change the weight that you'd like to paint and the strength you'd like to paint with. You can also change the brush and occasionally you might want to use one of these other brushes, but I generally stick to either draw or blur. So I'm going to lower the weight, uh, lower the strength, and then lower the weight down to 0.5. And then we're going to paint the lower belly. Uh, sorry, we're going to, on the wrong bone, we need to paint this one. We're going to paint the upper belly um, here with a higher, well, OK, here we go. So if we start to paint, you can see how the body is slowly changing shape. But there is a problem here, and that is that we're not doing X mirroring, and we need to. So let's turn it on X mirror. Yeah, there we go. If you don't turn on XMIR, you'll regret it. So when we paint here, you can see that what we end up with is we can move the point at which we lose mass up to the uh, rib cage, which is precisely what we want. So let's go ahead and put some of this up here until we get to the rib cage. That's a little bit high for the rib cage. Something like that is about right. There we go. And that will uh, slightly ablate this because now uh, we'll get some of the mass loss out of the rib cage and it will be um, blunted. But the other half of the issue is that we are uh, really too we're, we're painted too depth too deeply uh, with this part down here. So we need to actually paint a lower value down here. So we'll just put the weight to zero and have a low strength and we'll slowly erase down here. And you can see that that means that our weight doesn't doesn't change so bad. There we go. And now you can see that we keep our mass much better with just that little bit of weight painting. But we still have a really awkward situation because our rib cage is um, uh, definitely uh, uh, losing. We're, we, we still lose a lot of mass there. And one of the issues is that we probably painted this too much. If we were to delete some of this painting, it gets a little bit more organic. So let's let's lower this from 0.5 down to 0.3. See what that does for us. Maybe down. There we go. That's a little bit better. And you see how we can get an organic look out of it by painting it. Now, there are limits. Uh, you'll never be able to do a uh, perfect organic look because you're always going to have these folding problems. Um, and it's really a matter of exactly how you want to do weight painting to, to mitigate them slightly. Uh, and one of the things we're going to do is we're going to just reduce this just a touch. There we go. Um, now there are a lot of other things we could do. If we were going to add in more bones, we could add in some bones that react in a different manner to give our character uh, a, a pooching belly whenever they bend forward. But that's a little bit too aggressive for a skinny character like this, so we're going to just uh, keep going with the other parts of the bone. So here when we bend forward, we have a crease forming in the middle of the chest, and that's really not what we want. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to actually remove the paint from the breasts in this particular form, and that will keep them from folding. Um, because even if the character is not intended to be uh, sexy, they certainly can't have physically impossible anatomy uh, like that without looking silly. So if you do it like that, now when we bend forward up here, well, it's still a little aggressive. So I think we should have not not quite been quite that. Um, let's go ahead and switch over to blur, and I'll show you that. 
we were a little bit too aggressive with it, so let's let's fix it up here. How is it? Blur is not behaving today. All right, so let's go ahead and just lower this down and uh, paint a little bit here. There we go. Now, the thing I don't like about this is that the bones are opaque, and I can't freaking see through them. All right. So now, if we were to change this, all right, there, that's a little bit better. But we still have a fold happening, and that's because of the vertex, uh, the position of the vertex there. Um, we have a lot of options for how to mitigate that slightly. Um, and one of the options is that we can continue to work with the painting until it is um, perfect for our needs. Uh, it's not going to get any better than that. We don't have any more verts to spare. Um, now, obviously, that's not some, that's not a bend that you see very often, but to some extent, you'll see it a lot. You'll see a lot of, uh, like, this level here. And when we bend back, it works just fine. So now let's take a look at rotating side to side. Nah, that's fine. Rotate side to side here. All right, so this is not fine. Um, and this is going to be a problem regardless of how we do it, just because um, of the way that this works. But we can lower the amount of problem, the, the problematicness of it by painting up the sides here. Which will create a little bit of a delay on them, and that'll fix it up a little bit. It'll never be great. Uh, we'll need to do a lot more work if we want it to be great. Now this is going to be something where we need to completely repaint the whole crotch. And the first step for, for that is to unpaint everything that's been attached here. So that means we'll just change it to weight 0, strength 1, and just go over everything. We don't want a single piece linked to the, to the core bone there, uh, the base bone. It just gets in the way. So just delete all that stuff. And then look at here and here. These guys have uh, some some um, some paint where some weight where we don't need them to be, so we're gonna erase that as well, just like this. And then back here. All right, so then we we'll go here, and we need to paint all of those areas that we just unpainted with this guy. So the key here is that you don't want to accidentally paint the inside of the legs. And that means that you may have to try several times. You see how I got the inside of the legs there? So just um, just do it with a careful eye, and it should be fine. But you do want to make sure to catch all of the verts of the crotch, because otherwise you won't be able to move the crotch, and that would be quite annoying. There we are. Uh, that's probably not it there. That's good. All right. So now. When we bend this, you can see how the whole thing bends. And we get a little bit of a fold there. It's up to us whether we want to deal with that or not. Um, if we do want that to not happen, then we can do, there are various ways of trying to fix it up. But keep in mind that that's not the same bend as the legs bending forward. This is a completely unrelated bend. But it also needs to be modified. We need to, the same as we did with the, with the crotch, we need to delete the crotch for these guys as well because they don't, the crotch should not be pulled along with quite that level of um, uh, silliness. That, that It looks quite silly when the entire lower body deforms. Come on, go away. I'm getting the leg to try and get this one vert here. You, go away. I know you're there. Maybe not. Maybe that's just an artifact of the light. Alright, so... So, as you can see, uh, this doesn't look absolutely perfect. This weight painting is not absolutely great for sidekicks. Um, if we were going to do a sidekick, it would end up with quite a lot of folding at the upper hip. But, as it turns out, we can actually decrease that problem by simply decreasing the, um, uh, sorry, by increasing the weight of the paint on the upper hip. And I can show you that right now. 
by darkening it to a near red. By the way, I'm using my mouse for this. Normally I'd use my tablet, but my mouse works okay. By darkening it to a near red and also deleting that point there because it doesn't, doesn't need to exist. When you kick, you can see how it folds in the entire side. And that's not what we want. It's actually the opposite of what we want. So we're going to go ahead and undo that. But we're going to undo it in a significantly more than it originally was done. So we're going to do it like that. And that'll actually make it so that it barely folds at all. But we do need to have a gentle edge to it. And this red is not gentle. It's quite, quite strong. So something like this will work. So now when we kick, you can see that it doesn't have that problem with the, uh, with the upper thigh. And you can adjust that, so if you really wanted to, to have a little bit better control over it, you could do something like this and really blur it in. Um, and you get a little bit of folding, stuff like that. But keep in mind that you also have a bone here, and if you're going to be doing something like a full side kick, you can always use both bones and do something like this. And that'll give you a correct look, um, and or not a correct look, but a better look. And so you can always use those inner bones. You don't have to stick to just the outer bones. And so thank you for, uh, for, for sticking with it. This has been a long episode, but the majority of the weight painting is now done. The only thing left to do is to depaint the underarm here, because we definitely don't want the underarm to be linked to top of the arm. There we go. Uh, nor do we need all of this to be attached. All right, that's about right. Yay. Ooh, OK, so we also need to delete it for this. That's about right. All right. All right, so that's it. See you next time.